Okay, this is a quick pricey of how to fit an aux button, functioning aux button on a Honda Jazz that hasn't got an aux connection. Now, go online and just Google Honda Jazz aux. That will be enough, and you'll find all the resources you need. But just to uh, give you a quick pricey of it, you need to get to the back of the existing stereo unit. And the stages are, you take the bottom trim panel out and you can see there's a single screw there. Just holds it in place. And it's also retained by a few plastic clips. And then it pulls out. Now remember with plastic, if you pull hard enough it will come undone, it just won't go back in again. So just be very careful because it is plastic after all, and albeit it's Honda plastic, it's still not the most forgiving of materials. Now, once you get this out, the best way to find out how to undo the next bit is to recline either side seats, lie on your back on the seats and look up under here. And it will become very, very apparent and I don't suppose this video will make it very, very apparent. There are some bolts. You'll be able to see them. They look like this. And this. And the best thing to undo those is one of these which is a quarter inch drive socket find your local petrol head who takes things to bits because that is embedded deeply in the dashboard so you'll need this length at least to get to it to undo it and the advantage of using a socket is you can undo it till the bolt drops into the top of the socket rather than dropping into the back of the dashboard now again usual note why about plastic and Honda plastic you can do this incredible now the issue with this is there's a way and the wrong way of getting it out of the dashboard you have to lift it and it will drop forwards now once you've got it open you'll realize where the bolts go there and there Can you see so that's what's holding this shooting match in place so through there and through there now what you need to do to spoof your auxiliary connection is convince this stereo unit that it was installed in a car that gave you an auxiliary plug that you paid for. So we've got this beautiful green connector here which is empty. If I can turn this round maybe, hopefully, let's have a look. It's a bit difficult to see in there but what you've actually got is six pins now the first two pins, assuming this is a European model vehicle, had been shorted out with what's called a jumper. Rather than a woolly one, it's a jumper that you use in a PC for telling a disk drive or a motherboard what it again does or doesn't do. That's a beautiful way in there of actually telling this stereo it's connected, it has aux function. So get hold of one of those from your local PC shop and fit it onto those first two pins. Now the remaining four pins, three of them have got something connected to them. Now, I printed this off the internet and it tells me what to do. It tells me that pins three, four and five are connected up to my plug or socket. And again, using obsolete PC bits, I 
I got a three and a half inch jack plug and lead chopped off the other end and got some connections from a PC shop that would normally connect up the on off switch and the buzzer from a PC. Those terminate in a perfect fitting. You see there? So now what I've got is three of these connected to the three connections of those. Now as is the way the colours don't correspond and I also managed to make sure that none of the right colours corresponded with the right connections. So what I did using a multimeter is check what goes to what. So in this case I've got the tip, the right, sorry, the right, the ground and the left channels. So now I know how they connect up to my yellow, white and green jumpers. So what I do is connect those to the right pins on the back of the unit and hopefully it's going to work. Now I haven't had the joy of refitting this dashboard yet but again I guess I'll be lying on my back looking to see where the bolts go in taking it nice and easy because again threads in plastic or threads through plastic and these sort of clips can break easily if you're not careful and a bit of a nightmare to try and put together again so gently